Hello everybody and welcome back to the second channel. Let's uh, go ahead and crack open a sparkling water. It's kind of a disappointing amount of fizz. Boo! Yo, Perrier, put some more Put some more bubbles in your shit, dude. This was not good. Not enough fizz in this thing. I wanna be foaming at the mouth when I take a sip of sparkling water, all right? This was too pleasant. I need to be assaulted. All right, we've had some really awesome posts in the subreddit the past couple weeks, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna sort by top. I'm gonna sort by month. And uh, let's see what people have been talking about. I hope it's me. People better be talking about me in here. I swear to God, if people are talking about some other thing or some other guy, I'm gonna be pissed off. I get on here and it's a subreddit for like Tobey Maguire or something now. What the fuck, they're all talking about Spider-Man now. I saw Dan Annie and Laura at Disneyland on Friday. They were so... Greg? They were so. They were so Greg. I guess it just says they were so, and then Greg is like the tag on this. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I remember meeting these kids. They were really cool. They were really nice. He was making this face the entire time and it was pretty funny. So I appreciate it. Shout out this kid. Shout out all you guys. They were really nice. Oh, I see you photoshopped. <laughs> My face here to match his face, that's very cool. I think as he was making that face the whole time, I kind of thought that he was like joking. And so I said something like, oh, should we all make that face for the picture? But then he didn't acknowledge what I said and just kept making that face. So I don't know if he was joking. They were so nice, okay. They, they finished their sentence. Lovely cliffhanger. Yeah, I gotta say. They were so what? What were they? You go in the comments and it just says, they were evil. Never been to Disneyland, but to meet Danny in real life would be so much better. That's very flattering, but Disney has the Star Wars land now, and going there was honestly one of the best experiences of my life. I felt like a little kid. You can see from the picture I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt. Wait, all right, check this shit out, dude. I built a lightsaber. So, I think you spoke a little bit too soon when you said that, because you probably didn't know they had the Star Wars land. Someone said, what was happening in the second photo? Because th they photoshopped my face. Yo, what the fuck happened? Did his face really look like that? My face is like a totally different color than the rest of my body. Suddenly my sunglasses are gone and then they're back in the next picture. That would be mad impressive if I could do that on the fly, dude. Just all of a sudden, ah, and then back to normal. Sunglasses off and then back on again. His face is purple and then it's back to normal. Where is Laura, someone said. You can't see her? She's in Danny's right hand. Okay, I'm holding like a cup of Coke in my right hand. <laughs> nah, yeah, I was carrying her around in that cup because she got tired, you know? She's really small. Just renamed my gecko Grego. Oh, shit, dude. Is this the same gecko as last time? I mean, I assume it is. I don't know how many people own a gecko that looks like that, but let's see. I'm gonna go to this person's profile. Is this the same gecko? Wait, maybe it's not. Is it not the same gecko? Because really, I was, I wanted the other person to name their gecko Grego. I don't know who the fuck that gecko is. That's a new gecko. Shit, now I gotta go back to the last subreddit video and check to well, be sure. Okay, come on, where was that shit? Bro, where was the gecko? Grego. Oh, there it is, okay. Groovy Island is the original poster of the original gecko, and this is Beetroot Squash. Dude, this is a different gecko. <gasps> Oh wait, they literally said right here. LOL, I'm not the original post, I'm someone else. Well, at least you got the memo. That was kind of meant for someone else. If anyone else needs me to give you a, a recommendation for your gecko name, I'll give you one, okay? It's just don't, don't steal the shit from other people. Due to my critical thinking skills, I have deciphered this is not the same gecko, but an imposter. <gasps> I've been meaning to say this. I think that uh, ever since in the last video when I asked to get a little bit more critical thinking in the subreddit, we've been getting some really great posts and some really great comments. So you guys have been killing it with the critical thinking. This person was able to spot the imposter real lickety split. I mean, it's a cute gecko, don't get me wrong, but that is not the gecko that I knew. POV, Danny doesn't have a top comment on a post. Yeah, this is me. I sort of get pissed off and I destroy my computer from the 1980s when I quit my job. This is actually what my like office looks like from a, the other angle. If you were to look at it from like over here, I'm actually just in a cubicle. I have this background sort of printed out on the cubicle wall behind me. I just work in an office. I work at YouTube, youtube.com headquarters. So yeah, this is where all the YouTubers work. We just work at YouTube and uh, this, is, this is sort of our desk job. And I do wear like a, a short sleeve button down and a tie and I just edit on like cool clothes. Uh, really really sick clothes. I had it on like the coolest clothes you've ever seen onto me uh, over top of the work uniform. But yeah, this is actually me and someone filmed this. Is that gulp a fucking silver award on a post that's n not Danny's? Oh yeah, there is a silver, there's two silver awards on here. I like that I've traumatized my subreddit into being like, don't, don't give other people awards. All right, I got to comment back on this and get top comment. That's how I'll know you guys really fuck with me on the subreddit, all right? Yeah. Ha ha ha. That would be a shame if that happened. You guys have about three minutes to make this top 
top comment, all right? Otherwise, you will be sorry, and this will be all of your heads. Bought it a Greg listening to Slime at the airport. Oh. Do you think this is staged? Do you think they know this person? Cause like, I mean, as much as I appreciate the, the, the support, they're just kind of like staring at their Spotify. <laughs> like they're just like looking at the song, like listening to it. Yeah, sometimes I just need to like keep staring at Spotify while I'm listening to it on my phone to remind myself what song I'm listening to. Okay, this is slime, this is slime, I like this. This is slime. Oh, oh, what the, what the fuck am I listening to? What is this? Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, slime. Hey, are you taking a picture of me? I'm gonna use a little bit of critical thinking here and say that I feel like this is staged. I gotta be honest. I think that you and this girl and fuck it. This little boy too are all in cahoots. I think that you planned this all along because you wanted to get like a big upvoted post on my subreddit. Scam alert. I'm sure this was neat, but I do hope you got their consent to post a pic of them online. I did, she thought it was funny. Yeah, I bet she thought it was real funny. I bet you both thought it was funny as hell when you came up with this together. There's like a lot of debate going on on whether they should have posted this picture without consent or not. Okay, not, not the point of the picture. It's a scam. Post proof that this isn't a scam, all right? Cause I'm using my critical thinkers up here and I'm pretty sure that this is fake. But I do appreciate it, you know? I don't give a fuck if you're faking liking my music or not, dude. As long as you're listening to it, that's all that matters to me. Danny said he wants more dads on the subreddit, so here's my dad. He's always asking me if we're gonna watch Greg. Yo, dad check. Let's go, dude. This looks like a dad if I ever saw one, man. Congrats on the dad. This is great. 10 out of 10 dad, I gotta agree. I really want Danny to see this. Well. Congratulations, dude, I did. You know what, this could be a cool thing, all right? Let's get some more dads in the subreddit and we can start rating them, all right? Since this is the inaugural dad, actually we've had dad, we've had a dad in the past, I believe. So both inaugural dads get tens out of 10 from me. This looks like a great dad. The only thing that I might consider taking off points for here, um, if you're watching this dad, uh, you dad, not my dad, this dad, is um, cable management. You gotta fix these cables, dude. This setup is not clean. It is not Chris. It is honestly making me anxious how many walls, how many cables are hanging from here. I get it, dude. You're raising some kids, you know, you got a great one here. You've got Greg Zales, which is very similar to my username, Danny Greg Zales. Feeling a little bit of stolen valor there, especially with all of these rewards on the post. That's kind of fucked up. Look, I get it, dude. You got things to do. They make kits that help you do it and run cables through the wall. So if you are considering posting on here again, please get that done before you do. Because Greg Zales, if you post your dad on here again and this isn't taken care of, I'm going to have to take off points for that. But as of right now, I'm willing to let it slide. 10 out of 10 dad. Cute dad, how long have you had him? About a year now, so he's house trained. Patience is key. Doesn't look very house trained to me, dude. Those fucking cables are everywhere, all right? I'm sorry. Sorry, doesn't seem like he's trained on how to and how to put together a house. He may be house trained, but he's not home trained, all right? This is a house, not a home. As long as these cables are dangling. Emperor's New Groove was amazing, but this is art. Yeah, honestly, I think this might have been the most creative thing I've ever done. This is me and my friend Tim, who you may remember from the Emperor's New Groove costumes. And we were disintegrating Avengers. He was Doctor Strange, obviously, and I was Spider-Man. Yeah, I think this is the most clever thing I've ever done, hands down. Thank you for all the appreciation on this. I think it was pretty sick, pretty tight. French horn guy in my music class looks identical to Danny. Okay, I guess kind of. I don't know how you know he's French though. Like what makes him French? I don't get that. Oh well. Oh shit. It looks like we might have a secret code to solve, guys, in this in the subreddit here. Uh oh. Nothing to see here. And it's uh, there's some binary code on here. Is there like a feature in on Max that I can just copy this text somehow? I don't want to type all this shit in, dude. That's too much thinking and it's too critical. Cause I know I can do. What did I just do? What did that button? Disconnect from Danny's iPhone. Connect to Danny. Wait. What just happened? Oh, shit. Okay. I sent it to my phone. Binary translator. Okay. There we go. Oh, shit. Guys, look, I pasted it in and it's a YouTube link. Guys, we are going to crack the code right here and right now. Let's see what this shit is. Can we get a little bit more critical thinking in the subreddit, please? What the fuck? Come on, man. What the hell? Oh, I've been hoodwinked. Let me just see real quick, because I, I feel like I might be getting double duped. If, is there another secret code in here somewhere? Me being hopeful that I can redeem myself? Yeah, there's gotta be something I'm missing here. There's no way they just Rick roll me to fuck with me. There's gotta be some kind of like uh, compliment in here. Danny, really nice job or something in binary. Okay, nope, I'm not seeing anything. Did anybody else type it in? Let's see, really cool picture. I'm glad there's no secret message. Can't wait for Danny to decode this one. Okay, someone typed out what they think I'll 
I'll say when I look at this. What? I'm not doing this again, dude. You're parking me. Probably meant pranking. Playing some little pranky pranks and I'm not falling for it. Long pause. Fine. Okay, I didn't say any of that shit. Especially not the pranky pranks thing. At least I don't think I did. Can we get a quick, can we get a replay? Did I say any of that shit? What did I say when I first saw this? <laughs> oh shit. It looks like we might have a secret code to solve guys in this, in the subreddit here. Yo! Okay, we got some fan art in the subreddit. Now this is pretty cool. Oh, do they? You got other fan art in the background too. You got some anus unus or whatever. Is that what that channel was called? Anus? Anus Uranus? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Yo, this is really good. I look freaking sweet in that. I love the colors. That's amazing. Oh, unus uh, unus anus. Unus anus. Uno butthole. Props to you, dude. This is awesome. For this post, I will allow one award to remain on this post and the rest Mods will be transferred to me. This is really cool. Nice job. Dude, this is so cool. I hope Danny sees this. Does he have a P.O. box? Maybe he'd hang it up in his office. You know what? I don't have a P.O. box. I thought about getting one in the past, but it kind of sounds like a lot of hassle. And also I'd be worried about people sending me like anthrax. So I will not be opening up a P.O. box at this time, but this is very cool. And you know what? It's so cool that I want you to have it. You, you enjoy it. You've earned it. Hang it up in this frame, in fact. Take that butthole fan art out of your frame and go ahead and slap my face in there, please. Drew Danny in the peanut style, I don't know why. All right, I dig it. That's pretty cool. Digging my bell-shaped body. Very becoming of a young man. Okay, this one might be interesting. What is this boy band name called? We got Drew, we got me, we got Curtis. Let's see what people think we would be called if we were a boy band. Let me come up with a good one off the, off off the dome real quick and then see how it compares to everybody else's. What would a boy band with us three be called? I've seen people like abbreviate the three of us before as DGK. Um, cause it's like Danny Gonzalez, Andrew Gooden, and Curtis. And that's kind of fun cause it's kind of like BTS. Or NSYNC, which are kind of like plays on letters and shit. Boys who cry. Straight from the vine, dude, that's good. Fresh off the vine. That's pretty good. Is that too long to be a band name? I feel like a band name has to be like one or two, one or two words, not one or two syllables. One syllable would just be straight. That's a cool band name straight look at us we are so straight my suggestion for danny's interior oh good we got another design it's nutcrackers thanks that would be all oh, lo oh, i'm gonna love sitting on this throne next to these nutcrackers that's awesome design danny's room based on his real hobbies oh thank you so much this is perfect oh look at that you got all my favorite things you got cosplay you got grapefruit con oh that's so cool all the different u.s states i've been to oh and my trophies from my time in the nba and fifa thank you so much and you my little soccer mug uh this is i I'm gonna do this for sure. This is definitely what this, I, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is sick. I created Danny Gonzalez's room in CG. Wow, that looks like super realistic. That is very cool, dude. How the frick did you do that? I dig it, I'll do it. Shit, I'll do it right now. All right, I did it. Here I am, I'm in the new background. Do y'all think I look like Danny? My friends told me I do, I don't see it though. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a scam. Okay, so you do, you do look like me, in fairness, but I'm pretty sure that you're just, you used FaceApp again and you're trying to trick me. Better not be another trick. I feel like it might be. I don't trust anyone now. You know what, let me click on your profile and see if you've got any other pictures. Then we'll figure out if this is a scam. They don't. That's very suspect. <sighs> I don't know if I can trust this, dude. This is, th you've got blue eyes too. This is a little too suspect, I'm sorry. And I'm thinking critically here. I don't think I'm buying it. Sorry. If you want me to judge whether you look like me from now on, anybody, you have to send me a video of you like waving your hand over your face. So I know you're not pulling any crazy shit. Danny's new office design, tell me what you think. Okay, this actually goes pretty hard, dude. Look at this. This looks just like the office where I record my videos in, the, in YouTube headquarters, except it's full of cubicles. But it looks just like this. If you guys could see behind the, the facade, it looks just like this. Um, okay. Oh, I, oh, you know what? I wanted to, uh, say we have recently hit 60,000 members on the subreddit. And I remember in the last subreddit video, I said if we hit 50,000, we would throw a party. So I wanted to stay true to my words. So everybody dance. Everybody at home dance. This is the party. All right, thanks, thanks for coming to the party, guys. That was that was really fun. I'm a man of my word. I keep my promises. Oh, shit. Okay, cleaned up Danny's office, and now it's banging. Another person recreated it in CG. This is like a 3D model of my room. And there's a bang can in the corner. Yeah, that's how you know this shit's gonna be epic. All right, let's check it out. Oh, shit. You changed the letters to bang, and the bang CEO is there. 
Oh my god, dude, that was really good. Scronan? How does this not have more upvotes, dude? This is insanely well done. You even got like really good quality pictures of the pictures I have in the background when I don't think I've ever like had a close up image of them before. This is mad impressive, dude. Yeah, maybe I should just put like a shit ton of cans of bang in the background of my videos. I could probably start making a lot more off my videos, judging by how many TikTokers do that shit. So, all right, let me read this little rant, a quick rant about Danny. This better be good, dude. And if it's me and I'm gonna cry. When Drew, Danny, Curtis came to Las Vegas for their tour, I wanted so badly to go, but I couldn't afford it. My dad was one of the janitors though. So he snuck me in and I sat on the ground in the back. Towards the end of the show, I waved at Danny and he waved back and it meant the world to me. He probably has no memory of that ever happening. Loki, that's true, I don't. Yet from my end, it was one of the most memorable moments in my life. I always wanted to thank him for it, but what would I say? I thanks for waving, it made my year. Yeah, no, I guess it wasn't the wave I I idolized it was a person it came from. That's really sweet. Going on a tour like that, you see so many people that you kind of like forget that there's like, everybody's having like an individual experience. So that's really cool to read about your individual experience going to that tour, even though you didn't buy tickets. Ordinarily, I'd be pretty pissed that you didn't pay me money to come and see me. But since you were really nice, I'll let it slide. Yeah, this is so sweet. You know what? I do remember that show because that show was weird, dude. It was, the venue we had for that show was like a bowling alley. What was that place called? It was some weird ass venue that literally had a bowling alley like right next to the stage. Oh, Brooklyn Bowl. Yeah, okay, this is it. This show was weird. And also all of our shows for this tour were like only people that knew who we were came obviously because why would you come if you didn't know who we were? But this show was in Vegas, like on the strip basically. And when it, when you go to Vegas, like everybody is looking for shit to do. So I think there were a lot of people at this show who didn't know who we were, which I think probably made the show a lot less enjoyable for them. And also there were like people who were like wasted because they were coming off the strip into the show. And this is what the venue looked like. It had a disco ball up here. This is the bowling alley over here, if you could see that. Luckily there was no one bowling during our show. I think it was closed, but yeah, that was super weird. So I'm glad despite all that, you still had a good time. And sounds like I did too. If I I was waving, if I was waving willy nilly. Okay, let's see if there's anything in the hot section. Somebody posted this and said, Danny, how did you do this? I need to know. What's up guys? I just wanted to update you and let you know that I'm finally cleaning my mirror. Have a great day. Yeah, I remember doing this. Um, I think I just used like uh, like Windex or something like that. Um, it wasn't that hard. Was, there's just some little like toothpaste and stuff on the, on the mirror. So yeah, toothpaste, paper towel is really all you should need and you can you can clean pretty much any mirror with that stuff. You think I'm gonna tell you how I did this cool little special effects magic? Try critically thinking for yourself. How about that? Okay, let's see if anybody can guess what I did. What the hell? That's really confusing and Danny must answer this question. It must be a tiny little camera from the Wish video. He must have glued it to his shirt. Pretty good quality for a microscopic camera. Then someone else said, no, look at the hand on the left. Its movement isn't the same as Danny's hand in the mirror. So I think it's just a hole in the wall without a mirror and someone else is filming it. Yeah, no, dude, I did not cut a hole in my apartment uh, to film what? this TikTok and like b construct a bathroom set. I think you may be thinking a little bit too critically. Yeah, nobody's gotten it so far. Um, all right, well, I think that might be about it. So thank you everybody who watched this video for watching this video. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you again soon with some new content. I'm still on that grind. I'm still posting as often as, as I can. So stay tuned. Thank you to everybody who submitted to the subreddit. Everybody make sure you go over there and join the subreddit and post some good stuff. Stuff. I'm talking dads. I'm talking puzzles. I'm talking critical thinking. I'm talking maybe other Shit. funny little gems like and memes. Can't wait to see it. Thank you guys for submitting and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.